Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are playing The Sims Life Stories Riley Story part number three and honestly I'm excited for today because you know why because that means we get to go ahead and start the next chapter of Riley's story and hopefully it doesn't flop and hopefully things will go great and um, that will be a plus so hopefully it does. So I want to give you a brief summary on what happened in the last part. So basically what happened in the last part was that Agora and Mikey came over for like lunch or dinner, whatever. And Riley got real friendly with Mikey, but Agora didn't like that. So basically we despise Agora now. Now she's a freaking enemy. I hate Agora right now. She's, she's a freaking cow. That's what she is. I don't even like her. So we're going to go and use this and flush that and do that. But um, basically that's what kind of happened and now we are going to have our first day of work today and I'm really, really, really excited today. So hopefully we get a promotion because that's one of her wants right here to get a promotion and as well as we need to clean that up too. But also we need to go ahead and invite Mikey to the Starlight Cafe for like a little bit of a little quote unquote date um, uh, little thing. I don't know. I really think that would be kind of cool to do because I feel like that Riley is really close to Mikey and Mikey really loves really loves Riley so I'm thinking you know put two and two together they'll become best friends for life and they soon become marriage lovers and have all sorts of fun so hopefully that will be kind of cool. Hopefully that happens today and then hopefully some other stuff will happen but I'm not really sure what will happen but I'm really curious. Oh yeah so I don't know what was going on but apparently Riley's old boyfriend oh Riley's ex-boyfriend Dylan Kindard is back in town and that's really really weird she's kind of curious why he's here kind of creepish and so that's kind of trying to trying to get um trying to get Dylan off Riley's mind she wants to go on a date with Mikey so that will happen today so the first thing foremost and foremost we're gonna go and kick our penguin here because the penguins are stupid that's great there we go kicked on the floor awesome we need to turn off this computer and then I need to see what else I need to clean around this house because this house is dirty for sure. Like that stuff and is she hungry? She's a little bit hungry. She has work in about two, about, about an hour for now. I'm going to grab some cereal real quick here and then off. Nope, never mind. The carpool is here. I forgot carpools actually show up an hour early so that's a thing. But anyway, so today is going to be a fun, fun day. Look at her little track suit, little pants. I, I like that. And that Sloppy Joe car, anyone remember that? The Sloppy Joe car from The Sims 2 Days? Man, what a lifetime ago. I love it. So, also, she wants to eat mac and cheese and then also buy a painting. So it says, man, I need to get Dylan off my mind. Sure, he's, he was funny and ha handsome, but he also had a little problem that caused me to break up with him. I know what I'll do. I'll invite Mikey over to, for dinner at the Starlight Cafe. That should keep my mind off of old memories, right? Right, sure, sure, totally true, totally true. So Riley should be back here anyone but now from work. Here is Riley, Riley Stanfield. Riley Harlow, <laughs> not Stanfield. Promotion? <gasps> Yay! So Riley got a promotion to assistant. So it says, more work just for a little more pay. Being an assistant means having to juggle many responsibilities at once. So the key, to, the key thing is to please the boss, so try to get promoted. Cool. So now she works from nine to three. So now we're making some money, which is pretty, pretty great. I need to have um, Riley go ahead and actually use the bathroom real quick because, you know, public restrooms at the workplace ain't so clean because, uh, you know, the boss man is a little bit crazy when he just doesn't want to let the toilet seat up. Okay. So we're also going to go ahead and grab a drink from the faucet. And I think I want to go to clean and feed the fish afterwards. So I'll do that. Let's clean up this set here. And then I'll go ahead and invite Mikey over for dinner at the Starlight Cafe. And then we'll have a fun, fun date. And hopefully that will go really, really well, I believe. Man, that fish tank. My fish are dead. What? What? My fish are dead. That's morbid. Oh, no. My poor fish. My poor fish. Oh. Da, 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 da. Oh no! Oh no! Our first fish funeral! Oh, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump more fish back in the tank. That was morbid! No! 
that was sad. I've, that's the first time I've ever seen a fish funeral in my entire lifetime. So let's go ahead and call transportation for invites him to the community lot. Mikey. But yeah, that's really, really crazy. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over there. Awesome. Thank you, Mikey. But yeah, that's isn't that pretty crazy? Like how she just kind of just scooped the fish out of the little thing and put it to the toilet, flushed it, and then kind of walked back over here and kind of had a bag randomly randomly had a bag in her hand and literally just dropped into this into the tank and mag magically there were fish. That's when you know it's a Sims when magically these things just show up randomly, so that's great. Let's go to the Starlight Cafe and Market. Great. I think she's going to be in her work outfit. That's going to be her formal outfit for the day. So hopefully this um, dinner, quote unquote, date will not flop like Fiona and Shrek's relationship for the lifetime. Because clearly, you know, Shrek and Fiona have some problems. Like, you know, you know, Shrek and Fiona lived in, got kicked out of the castle, moved in with Donkey and Dragon with their seven odd children. And Donkey said, you know what, Shrek, I like you, but um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to let you go and kick you out on the curb. So pretty much... After, war after they got kicked out of the curb, Fiona and Shrek had problems, so and so and forth. They got divorced. Fiona took all the kids, and then they grew up and left and whatever, and that's how it happened. And happily never after, for the Shrek and Fiona, that's great, right? I know. Awesome. I'm making making funds all day. Ooh, Beverly Collins. Uh-oh, oh, here's Mikey. Hello, hello, Mikey. So this is our first date with Mikey Smith. He's like, ha <sighs> Same, I know. <laughs> okay, so we are here at the little dinner place. So it says, oh, I missed it. Dang it. So what does it say? So it says, checkmate, Mr. Smith. Maybe Mikey would like to play a little chess with me before dinner. Although I am, uh, I'm a, although I was a captain at my high school chess team, nerd, I'll go easy on him this time. Okay, sure, Roddy, sure you will. So let's go ahead and see if he wants to go ahead and, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Mikey, I see, he making the flirts, he making the flirts today, holding my hand, I see, I see you, I see you, let's see if he wants to gonna play some chess, oh, he's gonna play, well, where'd he go, oh, he's over here, oh, uh, let's see him call him over, ask to join, yeah, let's see if Mikey wants to join my game of chess, Mikey, don't buy it, ask to join, there we go, you want to join some chess? Hmm? Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh. Okay, stop. I'm gonna uh, okay, Mikey, don't run anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Um, let's see. Ask to join. Who? You don't even know the person. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and entertain him with a joke. We're going to hug him. Ooh, hold hands. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. I guess we're not that friend forward. Hug was a friendly hug, baby. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do practice on chess. Ask him if he wants to join. Call him over. Mikey, nope. C Mikey. Mikey, where are you going? Oh, no, Mikey. No, Mikey, come on. We got things to do. Ask to join, please. I'll go easy on you this time with the chess. So hopefully he'll come over. So hopefully he'll come over. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if she'll go easy. There we go. Finally, it's about freaking time. And now let the games begin. Dun, 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 dun. This is not baseball, Riley. This is, this is chess. So it says, it was a fun game, game of chess. Although he was playing like a uh, real checkers. <laughs> it was, it was kind of cute. It was kind of cute. Okay. That food smells, smells so good. I better get a seat with Mikey before I start slurring all over him out of hunger, of course. <laughs> Okay, out of hunger. <laughs> Slopping all over him, out of hunger. Sure, sure, Riley. That, what you, I'll, you know what? Whatever, whatever you say. Let's go ahead and be seated with our little thing right here. Come on, Riley, you can do it. I believe in you. This time you'll get a, that kiss that you always wanted. Oh, you fell in love with the, with the waiter? Alan Cum? Alan, Alan, Alan Chung? Okay, so here comes Mikey. Hello. Looks like she wants the lobster. She'll get the lobster then. Hello, hello. He wants the spaghetti, okay. Here comes the waiter, or the chef, or whatever you wanna call it. Hello, um, order from Mikey. He will have the spaghetti. And then I will have the, st the, the lobster. He'll have the spaghetti and I'll have the lobster. Thank you very much, that will be out very, very shortly. 
Thank you. Ooh. I forgot how much The Sims 2 food look, looks really realistic. It looks really good. And she's eating with a fork. Sounds lovely. But yeah, I'm really happy that they're kind of on a date now, which is really, really great for them and Riley. And I feel like that if they kind of go more and more in depth with their relationship, things will get really heated with Agora. And that will make me so freaking happy. I'm like, honestly, really excited for it. So it says, order for me, order for Mikey, yada, 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 pay for dinner. So she's just talking to Ra talking to Mikey right now, talking to this, um, Chiersa. So what it says afterwards, so to end the dinner, pay for the dinner, okay. Pay for bill at the podium by paying for dinner. Okay, I guess I can do that. So almost done with our, with our meal, this is great, and then we're going to pay the bill afterwards. Um, so we're done with our dinner. Stop doing that. There we go. So it says dinner was delicious. I don't know if it was the atmosphere or the food, but I'm ready for this. <laughs> I'm ready for dessert. Mikey style. <laughs> I kiss was Mikey really cap will really cap off a wonderful day. I just hope I'm not being too forward. Okay. Okay. First and foremost. Okay. She says, I don't want to be too forward. I'll tickle him and see if he likes it. Okay. That's great. Um, Mikey, st Mikey style. A kiss from Mikey will cap things off for a wonderful day. I hope I'm not being too forward. Okay, Riley, that's really great. That's that's lovely. That's that's just great. Hey, Mikey, wanna smooch? First kiss. Oh gosh, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Oh my gosh, from the screenies! Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Oh. Oh my gosh, these Sims two moments. This. These Sims 2 cutscenes are amazing. <laughs> Aww, that's so nice. I seriously love these Sims 2 cutscenes so much. They are my all-time favorite of The Sims 2. That's what I honestly miss from The Sims in general were those cutscenes, like the woohoo ones, the first kiss ones, the tri the having the giving birth ones. Those were flipping amazing. I love those so much. I really miss them. Come on, no. Oh, thanks, Mikey, for the rose. Uh -huh. Riley, I brought you. I brought you this rose. It's really, it's beauty and surpassed only by your own. It's, I had a great time. She says, "Wow, what a wonderful kiss and a wonderful rose from such a w handsome guy." I can't even remember what his face is. What that? What his face now is? I should probably head home soon. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. I'm really, really happy. And it says same thing. Okay. Um, I should probably head home soon. Tomorrow is another busy day. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow's another busy day. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a peck of a kiss. Okay, so chapter three is pretty much done of the day. It's really, really great. So it says, I had a wonderful date with Mikey. I went to the Starlight Starlight Cafe where we enjoyed our first, enjoyed the beautiful afternoon. We played some chess and had a meal at the, at the restaurant. Afterwards, Mikey treated me with dessert. Dot, 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 French style. <laughs> oh my gosh, Riley, you're such a kidder. Or uh, hilarious. So we're going to go ahead and head home for the night. And it was really, really fun. And I had a lot of fun with Mikey. We, even though we had some chess and had a lovely dinner date, it was really, really great. And honestly, I'm really happy that we did. So we're going to head home. Taxi will be here shortly. Great. And the taxi should be here right about now. Yep, here it is. Mikey wants to re receive a friendly hug. No, leave me alone. Bye. Bye, Mikey. I will use it for your bits. So we're going to head home for the night. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys really much enjoyed chapter three of this, of this life story. I really, really love how this, this, like, story is really telling the story of Riley's life. And she's kind of getting, getting back on her feet from being laid from, laid off from her job and moving back into four corners with her aunt Sharon. It really, really, it really, like, entertains me that... Riley goes from being living in the city to the suburbs and kind of having a new relationship with someone that she just met like a couple weeks ago and like now her ex-boyfriend is back in town. I really think that this is going to be really awesome. So it says that day was just perfect. Someone catch me before I faint. Literally, she's about to faint. <gasps> okay, awesome. So congratulations. You have unlocked Vincent's story. Now both stories are, are available through the main menu. Riley's story is only the beginning, but feel free to visit Vincent's story too. Cool. It's like, ooh, ooh wee. I bet she's gonna faint. I bet she's gonna faint for sure. Oh no, she's gonna is she gonna faint? 
Nope, she's not gonna faint. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so either way, I hope you guys really much enjoyed today's part as much as I did. Let me know what you think down in the comments below as always, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!